Oh, there, traveler. You appear lost. Such a poor dear. I am here, within the trees. Uh, let me step out into the clearing. Here, do you see me better now? What am I? I am a dryad, dear human. A creature of nature. An extension of this forest. Now, how did you come to this place? You were running away from some bandits. Oh my, how horrible. They killed your family and burned down your home. What a horrible thing to do. Why would they do such a thing? You rejected the local lord's daughter, and in her enraged state, she sent people after you and your family. I do wonder if her intent was to kill you or take you by force. Well, I do not sense a large group of people within the forest, but give me a moment and I will ask the trees. Mm, no, it appears that the bandits have already met their match. Yes, the trees tell me that the group was seen entering the swamp. The swamp is full of dangerous creatures, such as snakes that would count as ten of you. They will likely be eaten soon. This is good news, is it not? You are no longer being chased. Oh yes, I suppose there is still the issue of that lord's daughter. Well. You can feel free to stay here with me for the time being. I have the bounty of nature, which you can calm your growling stomach with. And the flower bed should make for a fine place to rest your weary muscles. You have had a long day, so why not take a rest for now? I will gather some food and drink for you by the time you awaken. I see you are awake now, human. How do you feel? Well rested? Good. Nature has seen your kind soul and offered you its care. Here, I have collected you water in this basket I weaved, and I have gathered various roots and vegetables. Of course, human. You may ask any question you may have. Is it not harmful to take fruit and vegetables from the plants? Oh no. This is what nature offers. If you did not take these things, they would simply rot into the ground and may hurt the roots if it draws harmful insects or brings about mold. I promise you, picking such things does no harm to the nature. If it did, it would have caught you a rabbit or a deer. Please, do eat. I do not require such nourishments. I take in the rain and the air. I live as the plants do, and rarely require other sustenances. Ah, if you do come across any seeds though, please hand them to me. I will handle the children from there. 
Yes. Seeds are the children of nature. From them grow new life. Oh, such a kind natured human you are. Look at how gentle you are with the seeds. I knew you were a good person. I can sense these things. Ah, yes. Thank you. I will plant them in the best possible place once they have dried a bit. Now, I do believe I need something to call you. Speak your name, if you would please. A nice name, though... Perhaps it may be bold of me, but I believe you should be given a name by nature. Perhaps I might call you simply Sapling for the time being. Do you have a problem with that? If so, I will refrain. All right, then. Sapling it is. How long may you stay here? For as long as you need. You do not even need to leave if you do not wish it. I promise. It is no problem at all. Nature itself welcomes you. You will only stay until things calm down? I understand. Until then, please consider this your home, sapling. Good morning, sapling. How are you feeling on this fine morning? Weak. How odd. Perhaps you are simply not used to all of this fresh air. It is far more pure here than in that human village. Come, I have collected you more water and fruits. For lunch and dinner, I believe vegetables will suit your palate better. If you require something of more sustenance, I can catch you a rabbit, perhaps a fish. To sustain life, sometimes you need to take from another. Nature can be a cruel mistress, but she will treat you fair so long as you respect her. No. Until now, I've had no need to kill another living creature. But for you, I will do what I must. I have taken responsibility for caring for you for the time being. Ah, look at you. You have a petal in your hair. The flower bushes make a comfortable bed, do they not? I am glad you think so. Your comfort will be important to your health. Would you like to take a look around today? No, it is no problem. When you are finished eating and have gathered some strength, I will guide you around. The springs would be a good start. That way, when you need to wash yourself, you know where to go. However, I suggest you tell me when you are about to go somewhere in the forest. It is filled with many dangerous creatures, and I would hate for something bad to happen to you. Yes, then let us go, sapling. Hold on to my arm. Lovely, is it not? The water is pure and sparkling, glowing with such life. Oh yes, there are fish in this stream. These are where I would catch fish for dinner if you would rather have that than a rabbit. I see, you are against eating something cuter like the rabbit. 
And it would be easier to catch a fish closer to the end of its life than to find a rabbit at theirs. It is better for nature this way. And with fish, I can release their eggs back into the stream to start new life. No, none of the fish will bite you if you bathe in the water. And trust me, it will not taint the purity. While you are here, you are gathering the dirt of nature, and so it is simply being returned. Shall we continue our walk? Come, sapling. The noises you hear are the various creatures in the forest. So long as you are by my side, none shall try to bring you harm. If you choose to go off on your own, your safety could be in danger. The stream is not far from where I reside, so you will be safe to do that on your own. Huh. Are you getting tired already? It is not a problem. Here, let us return. Have you finished eating? Was the fish and berry compo good? You feel strange. No, I have not fed you anything that is poisonous. I simply smoked the fish and mashed the berries with some lime and honey. They were blackberries, things humans eat often. Apology accepted. I understand you are just anxious from being weak. Why don't you lie down and rest? The sun has not set yet, but it may do you some good. Yes, the flowers do smell quite nice. A relaxing scent. And what are they called? Nerium. Such a lovely name for a small, delicate flower. Their white petals, dusted with gentle pink near the center. Another name for them would be... Oleander. Poisonous? Oh yes, I suppose they are. Typically, it is only harmful if you ingest the sap, or burn them and breathe in the smoke. But, in your sleep, I notice you sleep with your mouth open. The sap may have entered your system from that. And what I used to cook your fish... Well, I burned the Nerium. I did indeed promise to keep you safe. But, well, if you returned to that village, it would not be safe for you. Rather, I believe staying here would be best for you. Uh, uh, don't try to run, Sapphire. My vines are wrapped too tightly around you, and your body is Oh, so weak right now. You have no energy to fight me, so just accept it. Your body will become one with nature. Such a wonderful thing. You and I can be forever together like this, my precious sapling. Why you? Your kindness. I did say that nature has recognized your kind soul. 
And nature would hate to let a pure being such as yourself be tarnished by other humans. Become one with nature. Become one with me. It will be splendid. I promise.